All right, guys, today we have a new plane. It is the FMS Kingfisher 1400 millimeter. Um, it came with skis and floats. The floats even had a little rudder where you could uh, place it in the uh, steerable rear wheel. You can unscrew a bolt, and anyway, put it in. So the floats will have a functional rudder. The build was really easy. There was no glue. Uh, there's a little wing spur, these uh, supports, pin, little keepers. This little deal here snaps when it's in place. You can push it to release it as well. Uh, the rear stabilizer pushed in. This little guy here is, I guess so you can remove it if you need to, but it went and snapped into place. And uh, the linkages, I did have to put in the linkages. This uh, rudder linkage and the um, elevator linkage. Everything else was pretty much pretty simple. Three screws for the landing gear, I think. Real simple, easy to put together. Didn't take, I don't know, I'll be lenient. Say it take 30 minutes. It, it was pretty quick. Inside here, we have a uh, 2200 graphene three cell. It has a 75C discharge rate. Pretty pretty good battery. So I think what we should have. Are you using? Oh, I got an AR620, and uh, it does have reflex, and I have it, I have it uh, all functioning. Other than that, it's got big old landing gear. The landing gear is pretty, pretty solid. Not, not as solid as some that we've done reviews on here as of lately, but it's still pretty solid. Uh, other than that, I think it looks really good. FMS did a really good job as far as looks. Our other FMS planes we have reviewed, they did have ball linkages, where this one does not. Not that I have a problem with these, I'm just an observation. Other than that, I don't know that there's much left to do other than do it. Mode. I'm going to take off in full dummy mode. Here we go. Not bad. Flies pretty good. I can feel the wind. Inverted flight is good. I need to stay away from the sun. Sorry about that. I have noticed it's a little noisy. Yeah, a little noisy. Let's it see. almost sounds like uh, the old airplanes that weren't brushed motors, you know, just, just the old style motors. That's kind of what it sounds like to me. Yeah. It makes a little bit of a, a noise. I'm gonna oh. bring it out here a little bit. I don't know if that's anything to be concerned with, but I noticed it right off. I haven't done any trimming. Pretty pretty good, I think. I must have got lucky on my eyeball. I don't think that's appropriate. <laughs> Let's see. I guess I should put the... Uh, we do have some wind. So here I'll turn on some... What would you call it? Gyro. And gyro. It did smooth it out, I think. Right into the sun, probably, huh? I think it did smooth it out. All right, now I will put it in beginner mode. Beginner mode, what I call beginner mode, it give it limits and a return. And that is full left. I let go. That's full right. That is all the up. Turn it around here. Ooh. Wind kind of tipped them wings a little. And that is all the down. Let go, it returns to level. That's great. 
For those who need it. Experienced mode. For those who don't. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, buddy. Do you know if this is listed as a beginner plane or is it intermediate? Or? You know, I'm not certain to be honest with you. I don't. I don't know that I paid attention to it. I would. I would say. There's easier planes to fly. Not that this is hard. Uh, it does have floats and skis, so I don't know if that would be. Well, that's probably not beginner friendly, but. That's my thought. I don't know how beginner friendly that is. So I don't know. Is it flying pretty easy though? I mean, it is a wing over cup style plane. Yes, it is. It's uh, kind of gentle and docile, but you know, it's flying smooth and easy. It's easy to fly. Looks good. Turn some flaps on. Did it balloon any? I Not too tell. bad, but I was kind of hair. I don't know that it did. Let's take off flaps. We'll give it full flaps. Yeah, it ballooned with some full flaps. I might need to give it some mixing. Flaps up. Landing flaps. Flaps right. up. There's the flaps back to normal. And uh, I couldn't find a um, a timer on any of my or a recommended flight time, so I figured four minutes is a good place to uh, to start with the three S planes of this size that we've had. So that's what I did. I put four minutes, and we'll get her down around then and see how we're doing. I suspect we'll be just fine, especially with this nice battery. Got, does that punch out power? Yeah, it does with this, for sure. 30 seconds. Yep. It's actually a little bit sportier and I figured the, the control surfaces are pretty small on it. I, uh, I set it up, the ailerons were uh, factory set on the control horns. And on the elevator and rudder, when I did it, I did uh, put them in oh, what, whatever position give me the most throw. So the hole closest to the surface. Right. This is going to be a little tough for me landing here, looking into the sun. Sorry about that. I'm trying to bring it in here, help the plane and me landing with the into the wind. <laughs> that was uh, a little it, hot. It, it didn't look too bad until <laughs> the very end there. I mean, for as hot as it was. <laughs> well, you know, with the mole holes and and I uh, when I come over there, there must have been a little bit of current over there. I don't know if you've seen it, but a uh, new plane. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This with this battery, I still had. Uh, whoop! It come unplugged on me. 3.91, 3.92, and 3.91. Wow. So that's impressive. I would say that's a six-minute flight with that with that battery. Yeah, with this battery. All right, guys, we're gonna get reset to get a new battery in it. We'll get right back with you. All right, guys, we seen what TJ did with it. Uh, I think he pretty well covered everything on it. I mean, great-looking airplane. Quality looks really nice. Uh, from what I can see, everything fits together really well. Uh, I'm just going to get it in the air. I don't think we really need to cover anything else, so let's just go. Nice. Yeah, really smooth so far. It's pretty quick. A little faster than I thought. I'm cruising about 50% throttle for a 3S plane. Pretty quick. Roll rate was a little slow, but it's a cub cub type plane, so I'm not disappointed in that. 
I'm gonna check and see if I got it in high rates. It is, it's in high rates. Give her a little snap. Not bad. The ailerons did have positions to, to give it more throw. Knife edges are pretty good. No, I, I like it. I think uh, for a beginner style plane being 3S, uh, affordable, I assume this is affordable. I didn't, TJ bought it, I did not, so. I'm liking it. You know what we should have done when we had the battery out? We What's should it? have uh, adjusted your uh, mix for your elevator for flaps. Yeah, we should have done that. Yeah, it climbs just a little bit. Landing flaps. And it climbs even more when you get it full flap. So, guys, I'm gonna do a slow. I'm gonna do a slow pass right here. See how see if we can get this thing slowed down. This is no throttle. She slows down really well, guys. Really stable. That is nice. Flaps off. This is a very enjoyable plane to fly. The slow roll right there, that was awesome. Full throttle. She cooks right along. Got a little closer to that pole than I wanted. <laughs> that happens. You can definitely feel the wind gusting just a little bit today, but it's not, not hurting this, this plane at all. This plane's handling it like a champ, so. It's fun. This is a fun flying plane. Have you flown it inverted? I thought it flew really nice inverted. I did not try inverted yet. Man. Time remaining, one minute. Got a minute left already. See ya, that went by quick. It's having fun. <laughs> This is no flaps, but we're trying to slow her down here. It still slowed down pretty good. I think it was a little more stable with the flaps on. If you want to fly past that minute, you're welcome to because I uh, did not change the timer, if you remember. I believe it would, uh, it would handle it just fine by what I seen from you, so. This is, this is really fun, guys. Let's see if she climbs. She's not, not unlimited on climbing, but she's pretty close. She, she climbed really well. For a 3S plane, that's, that's pretty good. Let's try that again. Let's see how far she goes. Oh, she, there she goes. She's out. <laughs> so not bad. I'm flying, I feel like I'm flying a little bit harder than TJ did, but I can't say for sure. There's our timer, it has fully expired now. I think I'll uh, make a few attempts here at landing. I'm gonna go, gotta go past the sun to get into the wind. So hang with me for a second. Pull flaps, bring her in down over the trees. Uh-oh, woo, made me nervous. Smooth though. 
Got a little more obstacles out here than we're used to. <laughs> <laughs> New plane, oh yeah, guys. That's that's a fun flying plane right there. Cut on. All right, guys, here it is. We flew it. I flew it a little bit harder than TJ did, but uh, man, I was I was pretty pretty impressed. This is a another good flying Cub style plane. We've reviewed a few of them here lately on our channel. This one's up there. It's with them, man. It hangs with them just fine, just being 3S. So it's it's not it's not underpowered at all. I mean, I did fly it pretty heavy on the throttle, but I didn't feel like it was like it was underpowered. Did you, TJ? Uh, no, but it didn't. It wasn't overpowered by any means no, either. No, I completely agree. It wasn't overpowered, but definitely wasn't underpowered. I think it, if you made it a 4S plane, if you wanted to spend the money on it, that that it would help it. Yeah, you think so, huh? I do. Man, great looking airplane. I love the colors, the design. FMS knocked it out again with this one. This is a great looking airplane. So, uh, man, uh, this is definitely a go get one for me. Just, I had fun with it. It's a fun flying plane, guys. So, TJ, you got anything else you want to add before we finish this out? Um, not unless you want to compare it to any of the other FMS planes that we've flown the last Cubs that we, you know, we've released a Man, few. If you want to do any kind of that, then we if can. If you was to compare this to the, the PA-18, the Super Cub we just flew a couple weeks ago, that Super Cub blows this thing out of the water all day long. Agreed. Agreed. 100%. And but. The, and the Ranger? Don't take it away from this plane. This is a great plane. Absolutely. And if you want to compare it to the Ranger, I think the Ranger was... A little bit, you know, it was 3S and it ran on an 1800 millimeter, uh, milli, milliamp battery, but. It did not have flaps, did it? It or did, did it? not have flaps. Did it have flaps? I can't remember. I don't remember. remember. The Ranger, landing gear. compared to this, the Ranger was more beginner friendly to me than this was. This was maybe a second plane. You know, the Ranger, I think you could for sure get away with being a beginner plane. I think this was a second. But the Ranger was more of a Cessna type, not so much a, a bush plane with big tires on oh, it too. True. So. But all these FMS planes have been excellent. If, you, if you're interested in all, please use our links below. Yeah. Man, it just helps us out, helps us buy, keep buying these planes because TJ and I, we fund them ourselves. So if we can get a little bit of a discount on them or, or cut back or whatever, they're going to give us a commission. It just helps us get more planes for you. So. We, we really like this one. This is a great plane. Maybe a second plane, though. All right, guys. Go get you one. It's an excellent plane. We'll catch you next time. I